there, creeps. Happy Halloween. I'm super excited to welcome you all back to my catacombs of creepiness and my cemetery of screams. <laughs> my name is Purgatory, the Queen of Samhain, the Pumpkin Queen in the flesh, and I'm ready to talk all things horror, big or small. If that's the sort of thing that you're into, then be sure to stab the like button below and slash that subscribe button to pieces for more horror and spooky goodness. We are officially finished with week four of 61 Days of Halloween. Where the fuck has the time gone? I hate how fast we're speeding through spooky season, but if you're like me and if you're watching this, you probably are, Halloween isn't just a holiday, it's a lifestyle. I think we can all agree though that it just hits differently during September and October. Anyways, this past week we did what I like to call Infection Week, and boy was that a sickeningly ghoulish time. Just like I did for Supernatural Week in the last video, the topic of this week's video is going to be the same. I'm going to tell you my picks for some of the scariest infection movie concepts of all time. In my personal opinion, of course. So, if you would just have a seat on the nearest tombstone, grab a skull full of popcorn, and enjoy the show. Let's get started. <laughs> Before I go through the scariest infection movie concepts, let's recap all that we watched for Infection Week. We watched Cabin Fever 2002, David Cronenberg's Shivers 1975, David Cronenberg's Rabid, 1977, I Drink Your Blood, 1970, Quarantine, 2008, Wreck, 2007, Wreck 2, 2009, Wreck 3, 2012, The Sadness, 2021, The Happening, 2008, Virus, 32, The Crazies, 1973, and last but not least, The Crazies, 2010 Remake. So many fun and disgusting infection films we went through, which begs the question, what are some of the scariest infection horror films or scariest infection horror film concepts? Well, it's time to take a dive and I'll tell you what I think are the scariest. keep in mind just like in my last video this is only my personal opinion so it's okay if you disagree seeing as it's not a fact just an opinion now I'm going to count them down from number one so number five I drink your blood 1970 I picked this one because of one simple thing rabies the rabies virus is bad bad stuff that you just don't want to mess with in this film, a little boy decides to get even with his big sister's attackers by taking a syringe filled with the blood of a rabid dog and lace their food with it so they all get rabies. Only problem is, the kid inadvertently ends up infecting the entire town with rabies. I actually did an entire video review on this film earlier this year and I'll link that in the description below if anyone wants to check it out. It's scary because rabies is such a real thing and, and it's a real threat and it's 100% fatal if you catch it. This and every other rabies horror film that came after it deserves to be on this list. Rabies outbreak is a horrifying infection concept because it's real. Number four, Rabid, 1977. Just like I talked about above with I Drink Your Blood, a rabies outbreak would be terrifying as fuck. But what about super rabies? That's where David Cronenberg's 1977 film Rabid comes into play. A girl, Rose, and her boyfriend get into a horrific motorcycle accident which leaves the boyfriend all banged up, but Rose a little disfigured and comatose. Lucky for them, there's a clinic slash hospital just up the road. But the only thing is, they specialize mostly in skin grafting and plastic surgery. Nevertheless, they're the only medical facility for miles, so they choose to take on the challenge of providing adequate medical aid to the couple. They do a special skin grafting procedure on Rose, but it somehow turns her into a monster. She grows this appendage that creeps out of an opening in her armpit, which she uses to attack her victims and drink their blood. But that's not the worst part. 
The people who are attacked wake up with no memory of what happened to them and a touch of super rabies. As I said above, anything that uses rabies as a plot point in a horror movie freaks me out because rabies is one of my worst fears, honestly. Number three, Wreck and Quarantine Universe. These two movies kind of go along with the whole rabies thing because the symptoms described in both Wreck and its American remake, Quarantine, are quite similar to rabies, just fast acting. In both films, a TV news crew, firefighters, and residents are trapped in an apartment complex after the government decides to quarantine it after tracking a mad dog's chip back to that very apartment. The residents are becoming infected and hostile, and they're fast. This is terrifying and reminds me of, like, fast zombies, even though they're not really, which I'm terrified of those as well. Number two, the sadness. 2021. In the midst of a pandemic, the famous Alvin virus mutates and begins infecting everyone. This virus, however, forces you to act out the deep, dark impulses of human nature. There's SA, torture, murder, just regular, everyday people turned into statistic maniacs. Also, it's highly contagious, so there's that. Before I get to number one, let me throw in some honorable mentions. 28 Days Later and 28 Weeks Later, just because the concept of an aggressive rage virus infecting the world is probably my worst nightmare. It's spread through saliva or blood. There's no escaping the wrath of the virus in both 28 Days and 28 Weeks Later. These are two infection horror films that give me anxiety when I watch them to this very day. And now for my number one pick, Cabin Fever, 2002. Cabin Fever is a film about a group of friends enjoying a nice fall break where they all decide to get together and rent a cabin in the wilderness for the weekend. But once they start drinking the tap water, each one begins getting horribly sick from a flesh-eating virus that basically eats you from the inside out. When I first saw this movie, it made me afraid to drink water. I shit you not. It makes you feel like not even water is safe. That's why I find this film horrifying, because that's pretty much all I drink. Well, creeps, that just about does it for today's video. Be sure to take a large butcher knife and stab that like button right in the heart down below and slash that subscribe button's throat right after for all your spooky horror goodness. Be sure to also follow me on all social media platforms at Purgatory Horror. And if you guys wish to donate to the channel or just support it in general, I do have a Patreon page where I post my poetry, short stories, written reviews, articles, and much, much more coming soon. And I just wanted to say to my current patrons, I just want to thank you all from the bottom of my heart. I mean that. I couldn't do this without you guys. Seriously. You guys are awesome. Thank you for supporting me. Anyways, thank you guys so much. I love you so long and pleasant screams. <laughs>